What's up, timekeepers? Me, Tom Gummer here, gonna be trying out Kingdom Come Deliverance. Surf ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright, guys, so today I'm gonna be trying out Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is the game I've been uh, wanting to play for a while here, so I finally get the chance to try it out. Thank you to my brother for lending me the game. Really appreciate that. Uh, so, yeah, this. Uh, what, the first time I was introduced to this game, like people, when people started to talk about it on the PC, uh, they were selling it as a Skyrim without magic. So that really interests me too, because magic wasn't always my strong suit in Skyrim. So I really, definitely wanted to try it out, and I love middle aged games, mi middle ages games. So, uh, uh, well, so I won't go far, further into this. This is this is an open world game, to my, if, if I remember correctly. So uh, you won't see everything I'll be doing, but you'll definitely see a lot of the stories, a lot of the cool stuff happening in the game, and we'll go for an error. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's jump right in. So let's go. War Horse, developers of the game, published by Deep Silver. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy and Roman Empire which has flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV, but now which is son Vincent the Idol, blah blah. The king's inactivity angered many of the nobility as well as his half-brother King Sigmund of Hungary, who decided to take his drastic step to the empire. Sorry, I do not read fast, so I guess uh, I thought I was going to have the option to press A to, to con the X to continue there, but... Beautiful landscape, beautiful. Let's go. Silver Scalise, 1403. Kingdom come deliverance. So epic. I feel like I'm watching a movie. I wonder if it would be possible, like with mods and stuff, recreate the uh, the Holy Grail of the. Um, well, I can't remember the first part of the, of the name here. M Monty Python and the Holy Grail. The game would be fucking good for this. It is I, King Arthur, Knight of the Round Table. They're doing a great job to setting up the opening of this game, that's for sure. I'm really enjoying this. I actually feel like I'm watching a movie. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. <laughs> well, it looks like he was out all evening. Drinking like a lord. That son of a gun. <laughs> I guess I'm Henry, probably. Lazy bones up then. <laughs> All right. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get off your ass. You got stuff to do. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of bed. <laughs> Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Now get up quick. Is that me? Breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. Don't worry about it. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. <laughs> he probably you heard, you, heard, heard you already. It. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up. 
be a rogue. All right. Ah, uh, yes, the first morning stretch. Always feels good. Hello, Padre. At least you're up. That's a start. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. All right. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Ah, oh, we're time to extort yeah. some people, eh? Not drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself <laughs> and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassad. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make <laughs> sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. All right, all right. It's Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. All right. Oh, this is the fella. Kanesh! Kanesh! How's it going? with you, Kanesh. What do you want? Father sent me for money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Pay for the tools, at least. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Debt must be paid. Look, I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. <laughs> it's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Oh, it's a fight you want. Yo! I'm going to enjoy this. Take that to the face. Take that. Oh shit, he almost knocked me out. Oh cool, cool. Oh, well, you weren't expecting, my friend. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, just be careful while my stamina is down. Whoa, whoa, not in the face. How do you think I get the ladies? You can't just go and punching me in the face there, bud. God damn it. God damn it. Quit grappling! Alright, alright. There you go! Did I, did I, I guess I won? Enough! Enough! I give up! Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. Alright, cool. You understand? I have to eat something. My insides are shriveled cool. up all right. hunger. Cool, alright. That was a bit harder than I thought. All right, let's take everything. Out. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not just gonna rob him blind here. I just need a little bit of cash to buy some charcoals from my father here. Maybe grab a piece of bread if he hasn't. This guy has nothing. He literally has nothing. <laughs> oh, eat from pot. Yeah, sure. Cool. All right. 
Anla. Uh, well, now, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. He was, he was, he was, uh, he, he was literal and he said he has nothing. <laughs> I'm not going to take the hammer back from him. I don't, I don't, I don't need the hammer. I need money. Okay, well, uh, sorry to take what you, what you bought, but I fucking need it. All right, let's go. Hey, good fight, though. Good fight. All right, blacksmith's boy, you got the better of me. Take what you want, but you haven't heard the last of this. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't. Don't worry about it. Aye, right, it is I, Henry, son of blacksmith. There we go. I guess I, okay, I guess I have to talk to you. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Saradzik, <laughs> and the Chamberlain has the. Yeah, I want. I want to press X and triangle too all the time. <laughs> right, they're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. <laughs> Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? <laughs> Where shall I start? Hey, come on now. Uh, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. <laughs> Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. <laughs> All right, let's go pick up the ale from the tavern, then. We're ready, father. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. We're going to have the ale at the end, right? <laughs> right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. That's what nice. I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Ooh. This will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. It's time for the trial by fire. I probably want to back away from that one. Ooh, doggy. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Oh. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Let try it. <laughs> oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm. <laughs> you still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I bet it is. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. 
Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. <laughs> All right. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. All right. All right. It's been an honor, Sir Isfah. Have a safe journey to Sassan. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long All right. peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Gosh. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Oh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. <laughs> Talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. All right. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Uh oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Well, I guess I do need to learn how to use a sword now. Oh, God. Of course, I, I'm assuming my entire family will die or something. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Y'all learn fast. Uh oh. Guys, there's arrows. Just stop looking and just go. Listen carefully. Take the sword. Go into the house and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry. What about you? All right. Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. He owes me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's not good. Holy shit, that did. Yeah, <laughs> I never played Dynasty Warrior. Of course, you want to go save your uh, your mother and father. That's always. A... Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I think that guy knows who I am. <laughs> know who's the my father is. I'm gonna get I'm gonna see my father die or something. Yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna see. God damn. It. 
Uh, oh, sure, just pile on there. Just pile on, yeah, sure. No, no worries. God damn it. Run! <laughs> Find a horse! Ride to town, Burke! Tell them what's coming! Warn them! Run by the moats! There's a path down there! Jump down from the wall and flee! Alright. I guess it's my sword now. Sorry, man, I'm going to keep your sword for now. <laughs> I'll give it back to you when I see you. I really, I'm really enjoying the, uh, the movie aesthetic of the, of, the, of the game. It's like I'm watching just a, like a medieval movie. Quest, quest started. Run. Seems like a good quest. Oh no, go go away now. Go away. Gallop, gallop we go. I'm almost there. All right, cool. We made it. God, I was looking at Help! Oh my God! What? I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't understand what you're saying. All right. All right. All right. At least my trusty steed maiden helped me out on this one. <laughs> Hey. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. God damn. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Hmm. Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. With your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Oh, that's gonna hurt. And this is where it fades to black. There you go. <laughs> Why? Every game does the same thing when you when someone takes something out of you. It's like, oh, fade to black. <laughs> Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? 
There you go. Good as new. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Thanks. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robard. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. Mm. That wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. Mm. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. Highly possible. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. What? No one else can help us. <laughs> just anyway, gonna. You can't just abandon like thank that. Thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Yes, sir. All right. What? Let's go! Let's go! Move it! Quick! Go! Go! Where am I going? Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, it stopped raining all suddenly. God damn it, not this again. To see how the self-appointed king means the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. That's the bastard who let the attack of Scalice and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? Yeah, shut the fuck up. I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvard. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? 
Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talmurth. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that the Ratzik Kobila is not at Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzik Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. All Those right. who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. All right. I don't know why, I don't trust him. Please don't attack. Alright, that's the international sign of turn around. Good, good. Good. <laughs> Whew. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. Old Macy won't see the light of day today. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's gonna be it for Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. That game this game is really fun. I have to enjoy uh so far the story is very interesting. I really enjoy it. Uh the the game is not forgiving. That's one thing I've noticed. Uh as soon as I like uh when I had the sword, as soon as I was trying to uh to uh to take care of multiple attackers that were attacking Teresa there, I thought I thought uh I was gonna be able to, but forget it. There were too many and uh it was too complicated. Right right there the game like told was telling me like don't even try it, you're not gonna do anything. So Hopefully you guys still enjoyed the game. If you want to see more, of course, leave a comment below. Hit that like button. We'd really appreciate that. Follow me everywhere. Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com for Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much guys for watching, and we'll see you next video. Keep on keeping on.